everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to go over using menstrual cups while doing physical activities or various sports. This video was requested by Summer M. Thank you for sending in your request. Summer wanted me to elaborate a little bit more on using a soft cup or a firm cup while working out. I personally don't do very strenuous workouts. Uh, I've done yoga, Pilates, the elliptical, and riding on my trike. So I'm going to just share with you the information that I've gathered from reading or talking to my viewers either here on YouTube or on Facebook who have used both a soft cup and a firm cup while working out. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. And if you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. First, I'm going to go over a little bit about residual slobber. This is when there's still blood coating your vaginal walls after you insert your menstrual cup. This blood will start to slide down either your walls or the menstrual cup and find their way out and onto your underwear. A lot of people that experience this think that they're leaking. So to eliminate some of that excess blood, I would suggest after inserting your menstrual cup to squat down, bear down, and wipe the grip rings and or stem, if you still have your stem intact, with a wet wipe or a wet cloth. This is actually a great tip to turn into a habit every time you insert your menstrual cup, whether you're working out or not. So getting that residual slobber out of the way, which cup should you use while you're working out? I have spoke to someone who has done aerial silks, weightlifting, gymnastics, extreme bicycling, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and several others. And a majority of those people have said that when they use a softer cup, it tends to leak. It's not always the case. There are some people that use a softer cup, but the numbers fall heavier on using a firmer cup while doing these extreme sports. Sadly, there's no magical cup that is going to work perfectly for everyone since we're all different. If you're using a softer cup right now and you find that it leaks, try a firmer cup and see if that works for you. If you have a sensitive bladder, I would go a little bit firmer than the cup that you currently use, but don't go extremely firm like the Maluna Sport or the Yuyuki Classic. If you have a low cervix, here are some short but firmer cups that you can look into. In softest to firmest, the Ruby Cup in the medium size, the Lena Cup in the original version, and the Amy Cup Crystal. The Maluna Shorties are shorter than their standard size cup and were made for someone with a low cervix. This is the extra large size and this is their small size. You can also get these cups in their sport version, which is the firmest of the three different firmness cups they offer. You can also check out the Marula cup, which is new to the market. It is a very short cup, but holds 38 milliliters. It's a pretty firm cup and it has no air holes, which makes this cup create a pretty strong seal. You also might be able to use a V-shaped cup, but one that's more firm and in the small size, like the Lunette cup or the Yuki Classic. If you have a high cervix and are looking for a firmer, longer cup, here are some cups that might interest you. In softest to firmest, the Lunette, the Alicia cup, the Maluna Sport, and the Yuki Classic. You can also try a cup with a softer body, yet have that thicker, rigid rim. The Femme Cup, the Nature Cup, the She Cup, and the Moon Cup, or the Keeper Cup, which I don't have on hand anymore. Whichever menstrual cup you do decide to try while working out, I would suggest on checking your cervix and checking the cup to see if it has a good seal or not. To check if your cup has a good seal on it, give the base of the cup a gentle tug. If it slides down really easily, it probably doesn't have a very good seal. But if you give the cup a gentle tug and there's some resistance behind it, it means that your cup has a good seal and it's properly placed. 
It shouldn't move and you also shouldn't have any leaking. I'm sorry that I can't give you a definite answer on which cup is going to work for you best while doing your physical activities. Since we're all different, you won't know which way is going to work for you, either a softer cup or a firmer cup, until you try one out. Well, that's all I have for you about using menstrual cups and doing physical activities. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below if you experienced leaking while using a menstrual cup and doing physical activities. Tell me what cup it was and if you fixed the issue or not and how you did. Until I see you next time, take care.